group of Eastside High School students is stepping up to lend their brains and their 3D printers to fill in gaps in the medical supply. They are getting the work done from home, like our own Steve Rabel is tonight. Yes, I am working. I know you're going to find that hard to believe, but I am, <laughs> although I'm trying to help Sharon a little bit too. But we want to make sure that we have enough people to bring the news to all the nice mm -hmm. folks out there and stay healthy at Cairo 7. So, yes, uh, we are at home tonight. The dog isn't exactly sure who, is, uh, who I am <laughs> sitting here in front of all this camera gear. But Cairo 7's Rob Munoz uh, saw uh, how an at-home operation is making face masks, and boy, are those things coming in handy right about now. This is 100% cotton cloth in the center, so this cotton cloth is proven to be 70% effective compared to surgical masks. High school senior Ayan Gupta found a way to keep college acceptance letters anxiety at bay and pitch in as he shows his face masks he and 15 other friends have been making to help out first responders during the coronavirus outbreak. These are meant to kind of fulfill the gap between people who don't have any masks and the people who have sufficient supplies. The Tesla STEM high school senior commandeered a spare room in his parents' Redmond house, borrowing 3D printers from the school and using designs uploaded to the internet. While he prints the holders at home, you have the cloth from ADT, correct? Friends and fellow students are the other parts in the supply chain, pumping out about 50 masks a day. Well, those masks will make their way here to Swedish's Redmond campus, where he'll take those designs and get some feedback for them to see how they can best help the first responders here. Gupta tells us the idea struck him while he watched the news during social isolation at home. The masks are supplemental, meant to be worn under the N95 mask that doctors may have to reuse. And Gupta has a few words for other students who may find themselves wanting to pitch in. The best and safest thing to do is gather a group of friends virtually, not in person, and try to come up with a way that you can help the community, whether it be outreach for a hospital or whether it be uh, creating a community forum. In Redmond, Rob Munoz, Cairo 7 News.